is also creating a lot of shock around the country. Now, an order has been passed by a Kerala local court that has virtually linked sexual harassment to the clothes a woman was wearing at the time or wears just generally. Granting anticipatory bail to writer and social activist Civic Chandran in a sexual harassment case, the Cozy Court Sessions Court observed that the charge under Section 354A, which is sexual harassment, would prima facie not be accepted, not, not be attracted if the woman was, quote, wearing sexually provocative dresses. This has, of course, invited shock and outrage as it effectively blames the woman, the victim in cases of assault and sexual crimes, taking away the owners from the assaulter. In fact, there are many aspects of this case that are shocking. The accused had the bravado to furnish photos of the complainant with his bail plea. And the court then said that sexual harassment cannot be made out if the woman is wearing sexually provocative dresses after looking at those photos. And the accused, who was booked under Section 354A, 2, 341 and 354, was granted anticipatory bail. Several aspects of the order and observation have raised eyebrows. I just want to take you through those because it's not the clothes issue is not the only one. <clears throat> the court has said that for sexual harassment, there must be physical contact and unwelcome explicit sexual overtures. There must be a demand or request for sexual favours. I really doubt that's how sexual harassment works, that somebody demands or requests a sexual favour. There must be a sexually coloured remark. Again, not really how sexual harassments often go. Photos reveal that the complainant is exposing to dresses that are sexually provocative. Section 354A will prima facie not stand. And the court has also gone on to say that it's impossible to believe that a 74-year-old physically disabled man could forcefully do things. So the big debate that is now coming up, this is the shocker that has come in from the Kerala court. And is this not going to make the fight of sexual assault and crimes victims harder if the onus is going to be put on them yet again? judgment on this case should be awaited from the honorable courts but meanwhile the statement and thought process around women clothing being provocative is always a weapon used to whitewash the pervert mindset clothing speaks to a man to invite and he understands that language but a woman is screaming a n o capital no and he doesn't understand that this is extremely regressive statement and very inhuman kai bar humne dekha hai ki bahut hi aashcharya janak जो फैसले या स्टेटमेंट या बयान कोर्ट की तरफ से होते हैं जो स्त्रियों के सम्मान को बिल्कुल ही नीचे गिराते हैं उनको एक तरह से कहते हैं कि जो स्त्रियों की जो सेफ्टी है उस पर एक वार सा प्रहार सा ये बयान करते हुए दिखते हैं